Wah. Wow. <laughs> you look scared. Sorry, the message by is called this person. Okay, this is going to This one's going to start to the bang. Okay. All right. Okay, let's have a look at this civil analytical. You're going to definitely get a question like this in your um, exam, your final exam. And this is for us to do a revision on how to answer it. It is civil analytical. Uh, so it's paper one. It's going to be your first question. Roughly about 30 marks. And um, you're going to need about 10 to 15 minutes on this. All right, so let's have a look at, at what are some of the important things. First of all, clearly read what is given to you. Make sure you understand what it is. And then, of course, you're going to have your list of questions that you have to complete. On this, there's going to be a lot of information for you to follow. Um, if we just think here, the contractor notes, the land surveyor notes, different symbols that's explained to you, the actual site plan that they'll give you, plus a full civil title block, which most of your answers will come out of this. All right. So the start normally starts with questions that I'm sure all of you are going to be able to answer quite easily. So let's zoom a little bit in here, and we'll see if we can get this done. Okay. All right, first question, who was responsible for checking the correctness of the drawing? All right, and that, of course, you're going to find down here at your um, civil title block. So the correct answer, who was responsible for checking the correctness of, say again? There we go. Leah was the one who checked that. All right. Who is the owner of stand 114? A lot of learners got this wrong when it came to exam. Because where do I find that question? Look here. At project, it says alterations on stand 1144 for Mr. Rotherham. So the, he is the actual owner of that land. Okay, the client. What is the reference code for of this drawing? Very easy one. That's going to be down here at the bottom. There's a reference how far in meters are the pillars of the brick wall spaced from one another on stand 114? Now, if you look back here, zoom in for this one. Here it is. They ask the distance in meters. Um, the pillars are spaced on this brick wall. So there's the brick wall. Of course, this is a fenced part. And you can, of course, get this information from your symbol legend on the top. But the, the brick Pillars are spaced 3.6 meters. If you've written here 3,600 and they've asked specifically for the answer in meters, you are going to get it wrong. Does that make sense to you? Okay, so make sure you read the question there again very clearly. In meters, this answer must be. So it's going to be 3.6 meters. And uh, I can't overemphasize how important that is to make sure you read the question most likely, they always ask distance and um, surface area in meters when it comes to civil anatomy. When was the second revision done? You're going to get that, of course, here. There's a date, the 1st of March, 2023. By the way, this is the Eastern Cape, November 2023 exam paper for grade 12s. So just think of you guys doing this now. Good preparation for your fun. Okay. How many indigenous trees are on stand 114? For that, you have to know what does an indigenous tree look like. So from your symbol legend. And now, again, if you can read, you can achieve. Because it says specifically on stand 1144. Now, there's the stand. And if you look at how many there are, there's only one on this stand. Do you see that? The other three are on adjacent stand 1142. So, again, it comes down to if you can read, you can achieve indicate the direction of flow on the sewer line with an arrow in the circle numbered one so this is area here there's the manual of course you can see the sewer the direction of the flow is go always going to be towards your sewer so make sure you put in an arrow in the direction of flow towards the sewer sure that's conf um, easy enough um, what type of fence does the owner want to use on stand 1142 on the street side to secure the house? So the street side is on this side. There we have it. Hayder Road. Um, we've got Boscliff Avenue here. 
Um, so both of them, it's the same. It is a palisade fencing, palisade fencing. You get that here from the top. Palisade fencing and the height there is 2,100 millimeters. All right, if you see me make a mistake because I don't have another memo here, you're welcome to shout out, okay? Um, all right, b very important question. In what colors should new alterations be indicated on the site plan? And the answer is red. Enige nieuwe gebouwen is in rooi op het treinplan. Red, okay? You should know your colors. What is the minimum distance that the braai could be erected um, from the brick wall? Now, if you look here where they've placed the braai, all right, the, there's, maybe let's zoom in so you, sure you see this very clearly. There's the braai. Now, they're asking what's the closest that this braai could have been constructed to the perimeter or the fence, okay? There's a building line here, 2,800 building line, which means... Remember, we can't have any structure closer than the 2.8 meters or 2,800 millimeters from the end of the property or the fence. So, uh, yeah, we can't build anything on the outside of that building line. Nothing, not a swimming pool, nothing can cross over the building line here. So that question um, asks us what, uh, in what, uh, what is the minimum distance so it's 2,800 millimeters of a meter, 2.8 meter. Happy? Yes or no? Okay. How many rotting eyes are installed on site 144? Rotting eyes. Now, if we back here, there's one. It's at the end of your sewer. I don't see any other rotting eyes. Oh, yeah. There on that side, there's another one. So that's two rotting eyes on this side. Again, if you can see it clearly you're going to be able to get this done all right what is the height of the wall between the two stands in meters what are the height of the wall between the two stands so it's our um, brick fence or brick wall and of course you're going to find that here up here in your specifications it is 1800 millimeters um, but if you look again at the question it specifies in meters so your answer is going to be 1.8 meters Grade 11s and 12s watching this, they are going to give you a wrong year if you're writing this in millimeters. So you have to read your question. Verstaan jylle my? You with me? The municipality rejected the plans of stand 1142. Give a reason. So why would they fail this actual plan for site 1142? What do you think? Yes, look here. This whole house is crossing this building line. So they cannot approve it. Okay. As I said, everything needs to be on the inside of the building line. We're not including paving, of course, because you have to drive across it to get into your property. But no structures like braais, chicken coops, or swimming pools, or even the building is going to be allowed. All right. With reference to the north point, on which side is the entrance of stand 1142? So, okay. So let's see here. There's our north point. There's the entrance. Okay. I'm going to try and see if we can really help you out here there's the north point okay so let's start off by knowing that in this direction we have north right so we've got south here we've got east here and west yes or no yes. okay so this entrance see if we can get everything on one screen here this entrance here is in di in this direction do you see that so what is the direction North, east. Okay, so you have to calculate it. Start off by writing on your um, north arrow, north, south, east, west, and then just look in the direction of, of, for instance, that, and you'll know the distance. That's north, east. All right. Determine the space provided, the total length of the brick wall fencing on stand 114. Trick question. Okay. A lot of learners got this one wrong, so I'm going to take the time to help you out here. Determining the space provided, the total length of the brick wall fencing on stand 114. Okay, so the only one thing for the brick wall fencing. Let's have a look at this. I'm going to have another page next to it. Total length here. Okay, what do we know? If I zoom in for a moment, just look at where these measurements start. Okay, this center to center 4000 is from the middle of that pillar. Do you agree with me? Okay, it's in the middle of that pillar. Um, the pillar size 
Oh, if I if I look at this given, what would be the pillar size here? Can you look at van hierdie tekening? What is die pilaarse grootte? If I've got three thousand six hundred and four thousand, then the pillar is two hundred and two hundred. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger for you. If you look at that pillar, there's the pillar. All right, zoom out a little bit. Okay, there's the pillar. Then you have your brick. A little bit more. Okay, so we're just zooming into this area. There's your pillar. All right. Now they say from this center to that center it is four thousand. Yes or no? Okay. And they say from this to this it's three thousand six hundred. So the difference between the two is four hundred. So this part is two hundred and that part is two hundred. You with me? So this pillar is in fact four hundred times four hundred. All right. You need to understand that because now they ask me what is the total distance of this fence. All right, so I can now go and I can. This is what most learners did was they said, okay, well, if it's from center to center four thousand, it's times how many um, parts you have: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, times 23, help me out, someone needs a calculator, I don't have one, 92,000, so, okay, is that it, what have I not done, if you think of the start of this pillar, there is a 200 that I can't forget, yes, right, and then when I go around the corner here, there's another 200 that I can't forget. And then again, there's another 200 that I can't forget. Do you see that? So I have to go 200 plus this 200 plus that 200. That's already 600. Then I go around on this corner. I've got another 200 plus 200 plus 200. So I've got another 1,200 that I have to add here. Yes or no? So my answer here is 93,200. Did they ask for it in meters? But I think you can go 93,2 meters. That's going to be your answer. Are you with me? Did you all get that? So when, you are, when they get a question like this, take a, any piece of paper that's on this actual drawing even, or on the question paper, and just double check. It's not always as straightforward. You just have to double check that you got that right. Okay, all right, then almost done with this. The total area of the paved ramp on stand 1142 in square meters. So here it is, we'll zoom in on this one also. So what's the total size of this one in square meters? So I'll just draw it for myself here so that you guys can all see. Okay, we just have to basically fill in me measurements that we don't have. The total distance here is 6,800. Okay, then this part, 2,000. Okay, let's write it already. Oh, I am too zoomed in here, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to write it already in meters. 2.8 is this one, right? This part here is 3.2. You're keeping up. This part here from here is 2 meters, okay? Then we've got this part to here, 5,6 meters, right? This internal part here is 2.8 meters. And um, so my tip here is to immediately convert what is in millimeters into meters. And you know that Every thousand year is going to be a comma. So 3,200 is going to be 3.2. 2,800, 2.8. 6.84, the total is. If that's 6.8, I've got 3.2 year. I've got 2.8 year. That's already six, uh, 5. No, 6. So this is 8, 0 0.8. Are you here? Is, is it correct? Right? 0 0.8. That's for this part here. So if I now have to do this full surface area, this one, let's call this block A, we'll call this block B, and this one C, 
So for A, I'm going to have two point eight, yes, times six point eight equals we do my sum pumpy. Okay, B, we've got this distance, which is the 6, I've added the 2.8 plus the 3.2, that's 6 times, and that distance there, if that's 5.6, and that's 2.8, then that is also 5, 2.8, ne? Is it correct? Okay, 2.8, alright, so this is also then 2.8, ne? 2.8, 2.8 gives me 5.6, and then C is this 2.8 uh, times that 2. All right, so 2.8 times 6.8 is? 19.04. Six times 2.8 is? It is 16.8. All right, and 2.8 times 2? It is 5.6. Okay, and so I have to add all of these together, and that gives me, I'm adding that, 19.04 plus 16.8 plus 5.6 is? Alright, so that is my square meters for the paving, alright? So I'm just going to remind you, again, if you can, if you can, redraw that quickly, just add the different dimensions, immediately convert it to meters, and then divide it into blocks, it's going to be easy. There we've got one, there's number B, and there's C. Okay? Of course, you could have done it the other way around also if you want to. And then you determine the surface area for all three of them, and you add them together to get your final. Must be in meters and square meters. The most important part is do not do this conversion at the end. Do this. If this sum was done in millimeters, 2,800 times 6,800, you're getting 19 million, what are, nobody knows how many square meters that is. Not even I'm going to know that. So do that conversion at the beginning. Does that make sense to you? Can you remember that for me? Okay. All right. Then the last, or oh, number 16, they asked, determine in the space provided the total area of the pave. No, that we've done. Oh, there, there's a picture. They've actually done the picture for us. So we could have done that. Then the last one, in the space of the title, draw a neat view and top view and front view of the sun's graphical symbol for a bidet. Uh, now, I have to just make sure I get that one right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I remember a bidet? I think the top view, so the front view is going to be Like that, I believe. And the top view. Alright, so it's first angle of the graphic projection. So the front view is here. You could have technically have an X, Y here also if you wanted to. And that's the top view. Okay, so that's an overview of a civil analytical. Some of the key things that I wanted you to remember is the fact is read your questions. If it says meter, must have the answer in meter. When you get calculations like this one that we did, convert those millimeters into meters before you start with the calculation. And then most of your answers in the civil analytical, you are people going to find on the actual drawing. So if you can read, you can achieve. Okay. All right. That's it. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.